Episode 7 is about Doreen undermining B. She's lost respect for B and she's lost respect for the top dog position, feeling like it should be a position that, that protects the women. I think B understands Doreen and what she's going through and why she's pressing her buttons, so to speak. Um, but when Doreen pulls her up in the dining room in front of all the other women, B has to take her seriously and has to pull her up. Doreen presses the panic button, sending a very clear message to B that she doesn't have the women's support. So Kaz and B have this standoff in the dining room. Kaz basically says, you know, we don't need a top dog. Hands up who doesn't want a top dog. And then B goes, hang on, let's do this properly. Let's have a proper vote. Now Liz enlists the help of Sonia to be an independent arbiter of the, the process of the voting. And basically, as it turns out, B wins that vote. And it turns out that um, someone else has invested interest in that vote, which is also the governor, Vera, who tampers with the votes in order to make sure that B maintains the position as top dog. Is it an unvera thing to do? I'm not so sure. I think she'll do anything she thinks she can justify in order to keep her position. So it's really interesting when Sonia comes into the prison because Liz is actually asked by Detective Don Kaplan to play a really interesting role in extracting a confession from Sonia about the disappearance of her best friend Helen. And during that time he kind of puts to her, if you do this, you could get immediate parole. So suddenly Liz is in this kind of moral dilemma of do I go back to the land of lagging or do I step away from it now and say, no, I'm not interested. Kaz and Ali, the relationship is strong. It's a bit like Star Wars, the force is strong with those two. Kaz took her from the street, she got her off drugs, she gave her purpose, she cleaned her up, she loved her and gave her a purpose and a reason to live and to be happy and she, Ali, for the first time I think her, in her entire life felt wanted. Ali is completely devoted to her as a person and is incredibly loyal to Kaz, obviously which, uh, which makes things very difficult given that Ali falls head over heels in love with B, who is the main adversary to Kaz. When she was on the outside with the red right hand, B became our poster child basically for our cause. And then obviously she meets her in person and realises that she's a total babe and kind of a cool chick and like, I, I, I quite like you.